Good morning. How you doing today? <clears throat> Pretty good, man. Thanks for taking a few minutes. I know you're busy That's with the awesome. preseason. Yep. Uh, give us a little sense of, of what's going on with Buna this year. You had a, a decent year last year, got off to a good start, but then really uh, kind of hit a rough patch in the middle of the season there and finished up four and six. Uh, what's the offseason been like coming off of last year's record? Yeah, I mean, it's been great. The kids have uh, have really put the time in. Um, I'm excited about this team. Um, you know, our numbers are low. We've been going down to a group one the last two years. Um, so uh, we only have 30 kids from sophomore to seniors. But, um, I, you know, I like the 30 that we have. Um, we're, we're excited coming this season. You know, our schedule's uh, kind of tough. Um, but And, you know, I, th- I think our conference is getting better. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to the challenges ahead. Yeah, you talk about the schedule, and it, it seems like it never gets any easier. Uh, you know, you talk about teams like Cedar Creek and Holy Spirit, and even last year, uh, Pleasantville gave you all you could handle in, in the season opener before you got past them, fourteen to seven. So that's a team that's on the rise. It, you know, it's not like there's any uh, cupcakes in this schedule. Yeah, no, it's a pretty good schedule. I mean, we uh, had two really good years uh, before the new schedule came out, and you know that's a big part of how they reschedule. And you know, uh, we're not going to. What lays in front of us is what we're going to uh, if we're going to try to tackle. You know, we don't. Uh, you know, like a couple of years ago, 2014, we didn't really uh, have a chance uh, as far as it met a lot of people's minds. But um, you know, we went undefeated that year. So uh, you know, it's up to these kids. I'm excited to see how they respond <clears throat> to the challenging schedule. I, I think we can compete, and um, you know, we have some young kids that uh, started last year that are coming back, and uh, to see how much they mature, and you know get in those game situations when you have to uh, buckle up and, and get through those tough times. And, you know, that's what it comes down to in a lot of those football games. So uh, we're excited to see to see how that happens. Coach, was <clears throat> was there a certain uh, theme to this offseason? Uh, what, what's on the back of the T-shirts, as they say? Yeah, um, <laughs> no, no no excuses is really what we're going into. Uh, you know, we have a uh, – you know, we we can look at different things, but all we, got, all we can always focus on is, is – uh, is, getting a day better and focusing on ourselves. And, uh, you know, a lot of times in high school football, you win and lose football games uh, based off of what you do, not what other teams do. So if we can execute uh, our schemes and and play as one, I think we'll be in good shape. Particularly, Coach, with that offense you run, that's all about uh, precision and and misdirection. And, you know, if you're not – if your guys aren't really understanding the concepts and running that well, uh, you know, it's – it kind of doesn't matter what the defense does. You're not going to be successful if your guys aren't doing the right thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, that's that's our outlook is to uh, to be really uh, well at executing all 11 people on the field at once. And, uh, you know, you can do that. You you can move the ball forward. You're moving the ball forward. you got a good chance to, uh, to win football games. So uh, keep it simple. But uh, if we can do that this year, uh, I think uh, it'll help us. Talk with Buna Regional Football Coach Jonathan Caputo. Uh, Jonathan, you mentioned the low numbers. Sometimes that can uh, you can work that to your advantage a little bit. It, you know, the the group becomes a little bit tighter. Uh, they're kind of fighting for each other, knowing that you know, they can't slack off, and and a lot of guys got to play both ways. So sometimes you know teams will take that as a challenge and really run with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got that movie Spartan with the three hundred. You know, I mean, you, <laughs> you know, as a man, I think that comes down to it. you want to join together, and if you believe in what you're doing. Uh, um, you can use uh, those things to your advantage, you know, as a motivator. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I like that the guys we're putting on the field right now. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of work to do to improve. Um, and it's, you know, the, the only issue is if you don't stay healthy, then that makes it more complicated. You know, there's not much depth. So uh, we've got some people that have to play different positions. But, you know, it, like we said, that's the hand we're dealt. And uh, we're going to uh, work with it and, and push forward and be positive and, and try to make something positive out of the season yeah you mentioned the health factor obviously that's hugely important when you're only talking about that many kids on the roster uh does that make you handle the preseason a little little differently um in terms of just the daily grind of practice because you don't want to wear these guys out before they even play game one yeah i mean you know we just it really has helped us to uh, look at what we're doing in practice and and um you know you got a uh, drills and stuff uh be, adjust a little bit based off of uh, how much personnel you have to use. But, you know, uh, we, we've never been a real big practice live and, and physically beat each other up during the week. Um, you know, some of the teams we face are big physical teams, and you need, you, you know, st- 
until Tuesday, you're you're working out some of that soreness. So right. <laughs> uh, we're we you know we we've had a philosophy for uh, since I've been here, and that you don't uh, you know we're not going to be live all the time. You know, as long as we're trying to uh, utilize that game speed during practice and and you know get the kids moving at a nice tempo, then I think uh, you know we can be healthy through practice. Coach, how much has the attitude changed during your coaching career as far as preseason goes? You know, a long time ago, back in the 70s and 80s, it was it was two-a-days, no water breaks, you know, be a man, be tough, all this kind of stuff. But now you're seeing so much more, especially with, for instance, the Ivy League. They, I think they've done away with, you know, full padded practices during the week, uh, a lot less hitting during the week. Have you seen uh, more teams move towards that kind of philosophy? Yeah, well, I think – I think uh, coaches are getting smarter. You know what I mean. Nothing against those, those coaches. They coached us back in the day. I thought they were, you know. But the time, were, you know, with the, uh, the the state does a good job with the regulations and trying to protect the kids. And you know, ultimately, it's about these kids. You know, you want to prepare, and when Friday night lights go on, you're ready to go full speed and be able to compete at everything that that you need to do on the football field. But you know, you have to be smarter about it. And I think coaches have gotten a lot smarter. And uh, you know, constantly hydrating and constantly, uh, you know, keeping in, in a you know an idea of what, what's going on with their players. Um, so you have to adjust here and there. But uh, you know, it's it's important. These kids, all the stuff that you hear, um, you know, it can be really dangerous. Uh, we had a kid uh, when I coached at Audubon for for two years. I had a kid that uh, broke his arm in pregame, and I'm sorry, preseason, and uh, changed our season for forever kind right. of thing. So I look at you know. The whole idea of preseason is to get reps, get something on film that we can teach off of, and then you know try to stay healthy and, and have our best eleven going on Friday night, September eighth. Yeah, I guess it, it's a pretty delicate balance because at this age level, you know, fifteen to eighteen, you're still kind of in the developmental phase of teaching, so you kind of need a certain amount of, of reps and hitting, you know, just to t- to teach proper tackling form and, and proper blocking and all that stuff. So it's, I guess, it's got to be a a tough balance to strike there between that stuff and not, you know, not too many repetitious helmet to helmet type stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And and I don't know if there's a need for that ever anymore. I, you know, I mean, just maybe here and there, but um, when you're doing that all the time, you know, uh, I think, you know, who, who the guys are out there that can physically compete. Um, but just the, the, you need that, the scrimmages and that game speed. It's hard. I don't know, you know, how many group one teams out there can, can um, get that game speed um, without, you know, with their scout teams right. um, throughout the practice. You know, we, so we, we need that uh, with the scrimmages. It's important to, to understand the game speed and, and the kind of condition you need to be in uh, for those moments. But, uh, you know, practicing that, you have you know, it's a fine line. Coach, what are you hearing around town? Is the, is the fan base excited about this year or what? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're excited. You know, there's, there's a lot of questions. Uh, seeing what's going on, you know, last year with the four and six season and uh, going into this year, you know, I, I know Pleasantville's much improved and, and Oakcrest is going to be solid and, you know, in middle, our first three games are very important. So, um, you know, uh, we're excited to for that opener and, you know, I just, I think the kids are and, uh, you know, I, I like the group that we have. We don't have a lot, but, you know, they like, they're playing for each other, they like being around each other. So, uh, uh, you know, going into this year with the numbers, uh, there was obviously question marks, but um, um, after the first two weeks, I'm really excited. When you, you when you're the high school football coach and you're coming off a four and six season, you, you get a little heat around town, right? <laughs> hey, coach, yeah, we got we got to get back to eight and two or what? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, people saw our schedule, and there's five, five teams in the middle. Every team was a playoff team. Um, I think almost all of them. Um, set one, won their conference. So, you know, it, it's a uphill battle. we got to find a way to win uh, five games and, and get in the group one playoffs. And if we can do that, mm-hmm. I think we can uh, compete and, and have a chance, um, you know, especially with the younger guys. We get some, some more reps under our belt. Uh, I'd be excited to see us uh, take a shot at it. Got to keep grinding out those 12 6 wins, you know? <laughs> and you can win all the by water. I've been on so many of those different. Uh, different games and yep. uh, the ugly ones are good ones too. <laughs> there you go, Coach. We appreciate you taking a few minutes. We're up against the break, but uh, good luck this season, man. We'll catch up to you soon. Anytime. Take care. Thanks, Coach. All right, bye. That was Coach Jonathan Caputo of Buna Regional High School. Always great talking some football with him.